scientific name ginger bird of Sina Rose. It is an herb. The rhizome is used as a and also as a medicine. It can be used fresh, dry, and powder, or a juice or oil. Ginger is a knotted stick by under stem called the rhizome. The stem stick up about 12 inches above brow with long, narrow, green, green leaves and white on yellow green, green flower. Ginger's current name comes from the Middle English ginger verb. The ginger dates back over 2000 years to the savage from Rara, meaning her root, with reference to its appearance. Although it was well known to the ancient Romans, ginger nearly disappeared in Europe after the fall of the Romans in Europe. Thanks to Marco Polo's trip to the Far East, ginger came back into flavor in Europe, becoming not only a much covered space, but also a very expensive one. Queen Elizabeth I of England is credited with the invention of the gingerbread man, which became a popular Christmas treat. Ginger is in the same family as turmeric and cardamom. It is native to Southern Asia and has long been a staple addition to Asian cuisine. Ginger is quite popular in the Caribbean island, with rose water in less tropical settings. And this island currently provides most of the world supply, followed by India, Africa, and China. The narrow, bumpy root of the ginger plant is the source of this wonderful spice. Although it is easily grown in tropical regions of the south, it will rarely be treated with plums during cultivation at home the way it does normally in the water. In Western cuisine, ginger is traditionally used mainly in sweet food such as ginger ale, ginger bread, ginger snap, and parquet. In India and Pakistan, Fresh ginger is one of the main spades used for making foods and lunches curries and other vegetable reparation. Fresh is well dry. Ginger is used to spray tea and coffee, especially in winter. Ginger powder is also used in certain food preparations, particularly for breaking or nursing women. In Bangladesh, ginger is finely chopped or brought into a paste to use as a base for chicken and meat dishes, alongside shallots and garlic. In Vietnam, the fresh ginger used to make ginger tea or gongi ginger very useful for cold prevention and treatment, or also can be used to add more flavor to food as ginger fish sauce used with chicken salad. In China, slide or whole ginger root is often paired with Savory dishes such as fish and chopped ginger root is commonly paired with meat when it is cooked. And a herbal tea can also be prepared from ginger. Hello, uh, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, can you introduce some a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Dr. Tanya Tran. I'm a family physician and I work at the Great Nuns Hospital and the University of Alberta Hospital. Right. So, uh, how do you know about ginger? And as a doctor, uh, do you know, does it have any uses in medicine? Oh, for sure. Um, ginger is a very commonly used natural um, drug. Um, it is a herb. Um, and has been used for centuries by um, people around the world. Um, there have been some studies about uh, the use of ginger in uh, medicine and um, it's, it's used very commonly um, in our population. So, so can you talk about some like, uh, what are the uses of ginger in medicine and uh, how does it work? Sure. Um, so, ginger typically is used for um, nausea and vomiting symptoms, um, most commonly. And um, people think it works um, by stimulating gastric secretions and 
um, peristalsis, which is the normal movement of the, the gastroesophageal system um, that allows us to move food through our system. Um, in terms of um, other uses, um, I'm just looking at my cheat sheet. Um, some people have looked at the uh, activity as an anti-inflammatory, as an antimicrobial, mm -hmm. um, to help with cancer, um, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. muscle pain, um, uh, and dizziness, uh, vertigo, uh, which is associated with motion sickness. Um, but the most common use is for nausea and vomiting. Um, and it's very commonly used in populations that can't tolerate other medications because of their side effects. So, for example, in pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's recommended uh, for nausea and vomiting. Um, we also recommend it for uh, motion sickness. It's non-sedating, so people don't get um, uh, sleepy. Okay. Um, so if they need to be alert uh, to do their work or uh, they just don't want to be um, stoned on uh, other medications, they'll try ginger. Okay. And also, um, it's, it's generally pretty safe. Oh, so, uh, so who, who shouldn't take ginger? Well, that's a good question. There are some people who um, probably shouldn't take ginger. Um, obviously, children under the age of two, um, uh, you know, this, it hasn't been studied or, or proven safe for babies. Um, but people with chronic conditions, particularly bleeding conditions, um, should really be hesitant to use natural drugs like ginger um, because it can interact with bleeding times and cause um, problems with bleeding. So patients, for example, who are on the medication Coumadin um, should avoid taking um, natural supplements in gen general, particularly ginger as well. Um, also, you know, I would also recommend um, patients who are on a lot of... Um, other medications, whether it's stomach medications or um, heart medications, should really um, ask their physicians for um, their opinion as to whether or not ginger is right for them. All right. Thank you. Thank You're you very much for your information. You're welcome. Thanks. And you see uh, GD chicken and I'm going to make chicken ginger. It's a very uh, fam familiar uh, Vietnamese food. This is oil and uh, garlic. And then Chicken You cook as a uh, chicken about half cook Chicken uh, about half cooked and then ginger and this sauce and soy sauce. Sugar.
and then uh, finally I add some green onion and the garlic. Add some pepper to add more flavor for this food.